Alrighty guys, welcome back to another walkthrough. Today we're looking at a 2019 Thor 4 Winds 28Z Class C. This is a single slide Class C on the 450 chassis. It's actually a great little floor plan. It's only about, it's just under 30 feet overall, 29 inches or 29 feet 11 inches, so not too bad. What we're gonna do, we're gonna run through the exterior here, then we're gonna jump inside and see, uh, you know, all the features inside too. So first off, let's look at the tire. All right, so tire size, where are we at? 225, 75 R, 16 inches. These tires are three years old, 41, 17 on there. Uh, so they're original tires, which to be expected, late 2017. Now it's not full body paint, it is a decal coach, and none of the decals are, you know, that you get a little bit fading, but none are cracking or peeling just yet. It's on the beige base coat. You can see we have an electric awning too with the LED strip right under it. Now I just took this coach today, so it's still staged, still a little dirty, but we're selling this stuff so fast. I got to take these videos right out the gate. 12.2 gallons on the propane. Storage right there. Just a little guy. You can see some outdoor speakers. No entertainment center though, so something to keep in mind. Should have some power outlets right here. Dualies in the back, of course. Another small little storage there, but check out this one. This is insane. So a lot of these Class C's, when they don't have a slide in the rear, you get this insanely big storage, which under all these little compartments, spare tire, maybe jacks, just storage. Both of these tables do, oh, I'm sorry, one table, that's just a cover over there. You do have an AK hitch on the back. And of course, a seven pin connector. 8,000 pounds. There you go. Let's see what's under this one. Okay, so, and yeah, it's kind of cool. It has a little low point drain down there, too. Area for a spare tire. And then I think on the right side is just more storage under it. Yeah, also with the drain. Now, I've, I've, seen, I've heard people that, you know, take these to tailgates, they open these rears, put ice in them, and just fill them with beer, soda, whatever. So, kind of a good idea. Backup camera, of course. Now, let me show you the roof. i got to climb up there. I'll be right back. All right, besides the cleaning, it actually looks pretty good. I've got a single Coleman AC system right there. Max air vent cover for the fantastic fan in the bedroom. And overall, like I said, besides the cleaning, it doesn't, I don't even think it really needs to be cocked. No rips, no tears, no bubbles, so that's good. Let's check out the driver's side. All right, so over on the passenger side, you can see the slide out. It's a gear-driven slide with a slide topper. Then we have city water connection, potable water, fuel fill right there, hoses and power cord. It is a 30 amp power service being a single AC unit. Back of the fridge and the furnace, a little coaxial connection there. Outdoor shower and then a six gallon water heater all right there. So under the slide, it's actually kind of smart. They did a lot of stuff that you don't necessarily need the slide closed to access. So of course, dump station, gray and black. And there's a sanitization flush right above it, connected straight into the tank. Just a little storage area, what is that? That is a, actually part of your slide control right there. So if you need to access the wiring, you can get it right there. And then finally, coming zone in 4,000 with like 80.1 hours on it, so that's kind of nice. All right, let's jump inside and see how many miles, the overall storage area, sleeping capacities, all that good stuff. All right, motorized bicycle. So you got no step in. It is kind of lowered, so it is a little bit easier. You got some batteries right under that first step. And this is right when you walk in, you got your kitchen, you got the slide. Kitchen, dinette, couch. You see the overhead there. We'll go through all this, but let's start up front. All right, 18.559.2 for the miles. Not too bad. They used it a good amount for a two year ownership, but still under the standard five to 10,000. The only extra feature, it's hard to see with the light, but you have an emergency start there. Pull battery or yeah, pull some power from the house batteries if you need to start it. Do have a backup camera on here. No side cameras. The leatherette seats up front were an option. I did go through this coach and figure out what all the options were. Now the overhead bunk, that of course flips over. It make it a little bit easier so you don't hit your head going in and going out. You can see a ladder there. A little bit of storage under there. Let's see if we can 
show you that. My gosh, this stuff's heavy. I'll show you this side. There we go. It's a little bit of storage. And then really the cab, I mean, it's like a classic, you know, Class C. Nothing too crazy, nothing too different from your standard Class C's. Kind of the same front. That little wood finish was actually an option, which is kind of funny, but what are you going to do? All right. So stepping in the cab, we got your slide. Slide goes from that corner all the way down, right past that microwave. I love the TV viewing location. It is actually in a pretty good location for once. Thank God they're finally learning something. Dinette, also leather, also an option. Now, I did do some printouts. Oh, let's get this out of the light. So you can see some of the standard features. And all the stuff highlighted is gonna be the options this coach has. And then here's this. Try to get sizes. You may wanna pause that, I'm shaking like crazy. And then the actual floor plan is right there. And of course, had to print out our sales ad too. Show you the price, miles, motor, all that good stuff. $69,995. All right, so we do have a little bit of storage in the dinette. It is only one storage area, but it is a drawer and it is deep. So that's kind of nice. A little bit of power, carbon monoxide. This will turn into a sleeper for two, two kids realistically. Um, and you do have a shade behind the TV that'll drop down and give you a little bit of a, a little bit of, a little bit of shade. I, what, am, what am I trying to say? A little bit more shade. All right. So the kitchen aspect of this little microwave does have an oven, three burner gas stove top, one big metal sink and storage throughout. So we'll check all that out. I don't want that fan. There it is. All right. Storage bug. Oh, they got the, uh, what is that? That looks like a Blu-ray disc player for the TV right there. Microwave, not a convection. Three burner gas stove top, like I said, does have the glass cover, which is nice. Looks like a 19 inch oven. Nice deep sink. Least amount of storage below. Ooh, a couple of drawers too, very nice. And then finally, the only other storage in the kitchen is gonna be the pots and pans storage under the oven. All right, now behind us, no slide, but we do have a jackknife couch that is leather, also an option in this coach. Just lift up and pull out. And you see we do have a couple cup holders. That's about it. I don't see any power points. Just joking, right above you. You can see your overhead storage. Pretty decent. A little bit of your light reading material with all your owner's manuals. All right. So, as we're making our way back, before we hit the fridge in the bathroom, you do have your control panel right in the middle of the coach. You can see the Coleman Mach AC controller. And then for the gen set, we'll sit here for a second as she primes and show you 80.1 hours. That is nothing. And a couple of level testers, water heater, things like that. So the fridge is a three-way fridge. It is gonna be a Norcold propane or electric fridge and freezer. Right, and then above, I can't even see this storage because I'm too dang short. But you do have a little bit, a little bit of storage above there, maybe a pantry. Now, before we get to the bedroom, we're going to check out the all-in-one bathroom. So there is no separation when you have the bathroom door open. The door doesn't stop. It doesn't separate it or anything. But you do have an accordion-style door for the bedroom. You see a raised pedestal toilet. It looks like a china toilet, too, not, not the cheaper plastic. Nice metal sink in here. A little bit of storage. And of course, your medicine cabinet. Now finally, you've seen my videos, you know how tall I am, short little guy. Pretty, pretty decent sized skylight in here. You can actually be quite tall and still take a shower comfortably. All right guys, last but not least, your bedroom. Once again, little step up into the bedroom. I think they put the tape down so they saw it before they uh, made a leap they regretted. and. Right and left side, you got wardrobe closets, a couple drawers on each side. Now, you can see this big hump here, and that is due to that storage down below, that insane amount of under bed storage. So you don't really get a lot of walk around room. I mean, you get plenty of walk around, but you can't go all the way back. And then you can see that does go a little bit further. Power connections up in there too. TV. Once again, good viewing angle, kind of receded into the wall there. It does stick out a little bit. You probably could change the mount if you wanted and give yourself a full motion mount. 
breaker box down there. And then finally, a couple more drawers in your main wardrobe. So let's recap. 2019 Thor Four Winds 28Z. Just under 30 feet overall. We're selling her for $69,995. And there it is. You can see all this, all the pictures and info online on our website at padatarvcenter.com. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to give us a call. Once again, my name is Taylor Quayle. Phone number for us is 520-807-0900. Or you are welcome to email me, taylor at padatarvcenter.com. All that info will be in the description. Thanks for viewing, guys. Hope you have a great day.